Hey everybody, today I want to talk about three bits of Unity news that I just came across. The first is about multiplayer. There's a big change that just came out. And then we'll talk a little bit about some dragon stuff that's, well, kind of fluffy but fun. And then finally, there was a new bundle that I think you'd probably be interested in because it was 97% off. Let's start with the multiplayer update. A little while ago, I saw a tweet talking about NGO 1.8 releasing. And if you haven't used NGO, it's Unity's netcode for game objects. It's their latest networking solution that, in my opinion, is pretty damn solid. And they've added a couple new things to it that were, I think, missing. And I'm really excited to see them here and fixed a couple bugs that were kind of confusing me and some of my students, too. So I'm excited to see this. One of the biggest things that they've added is a change to RPCs instead of having to do client RPC and server RPC and then build up parameters. There's an easy way to just send an RPC, which is just a remote procedure call, to anything that you want, whether it's a specific client, the server, set of clients, just the client and server, or whatever you want. There's a big set of options now and they've made that drastically easier. It is important to note though, one thing, if you do want to do the client to client messaging that they've just added, it does still go through the host or the server. It it's an easy way to just select a client and send a message to them, but there's still no direct client to client messaging going on there. There were also some changes to make working with scene management disabled much easier. If you tried it before, it's pretty difficult before, so this is a nice change to see. And then they've modified the instantiation to make that process a little bit easier as well. If you haven't tried out Netcode for Game Objects, though, you should probably give it a try, especially if you're into networking stuff. And if you want to learn multiplayer game development, of course, go check out the Multiplayer Mastery course. All right, let's go on to Dragons. So since it's the year of the dragon, apparently they're going to have a giant dragon sale on the asset store. And it looks like, I don't know if all dragons are 50% off, but there are certainly a ton of them, probably all of the dragons. There's also a bunch of other really interesting creatures in the half off deal. So I'd check it out if you needed dragons or wanted to build a dragon game. It's kind of funny because I've actually been talking about building a dragon game. Maybe they were listening and just decided to put them all half off because of that. Probably not, but it's, it's nice to imagine at least. Anyway, if you have a favorite dragon, drop it in the comments. Comments down below. I'm kind of curious to see. I've seen a lot of the dragons, but it seems like there's a ton of them there. So if you got something that you like, want to know which one it is that everybody's using. I obviously love Infinity PBRs and a lot of the other ones. But anyway, let's go on. The New Year Bundle. This is one of the things that I think is probably great for everybody. I love these bundles because you end up getting a huge discount. They have a new bundle that's got up to 97% off if you get the $30 pack, which I would probably go for. There's a couple really interesting things in here. I liked these characters, these fantasy characters and these fantasy monsters. I thought these were really cool if you want to do something 2D. There was also, I thought I saw something else in here. Maybe I'm missing it. But there's these really cool editor tools, the uh, V hierarchy and the runtime transform tools. Grab it's also really good. So these are tools for doing like runtime editor stuff so that your players can do things at edit time, I, th I believe, or at least the runtime transform one is the V hierarchy. I'm getting myself mixed up with a different one. But anyway, lots of, oh, runtime level design. Like I said, lots of really interesting tools and useful ones. Nice UI toolkits. Fluffy grooming tool is, I think, w more than worth it alone. You know, just, just for getting fluffy, it's worth it. Like This is a, a really good pack and another one that I'm excited to see. Now, if you haven't grabbed it yet, um, uh, I'll make sure to drop a link down in the description. But here's the other thing I was thinking of, the UMMORPG. If you haven't grabbed the latest quick start asset pack, this one's only 90% off. So it's 94 or whatever. It's still a really great deal though. But if you wanted UMMORPG and this turn-based framework, and I, I use this motions pack all the time. This was another really good pet bundle pack and I thought it was worth sharing. So I'll drop a link for all of those down in the description. I also, again, check out the multiplayer stuff. And if there's something that you're interested in uh, learning about or just have a question about, drop a comment down below and I'm gonna try to answer as many of them as I can as well as keep providing you with interesting stuff. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and all that stuff and I'll see you in the next video, bye.